Hello and thank you for watching this training series on Street Outreach Data Collection for HMIS. I'm Megan Starnes, your HMIS Training Coordinator. HUD recognizes that data collection for street outreach can present some unique difficulties. Today, throughout this training series, we'll discuss those unique challenges as well as the unique data elements that are required for street outreach programs. Let's start by talking about the data collection challenges for street outreach projects. It is common knowledge that street outreach projects are likely to encounter difficulty engaging homeless persons. Street outreach projects may record a project start with limited information about a client and then improve on the accuracy and completeness of the client's data over time by editing the record in HMIS or recording an update assessment. Initial data entry may be very basic and even de-identified, such as Blue Hat 8th and Main. That way, any other street outreach worker could identify that client, even if we don't have the client's name. This doesn't mean that protocols should be in place to collect minimal data. It is expected that over time, street outreach workers collect all of the required data for their project and edit the client's record for accuracy as they learn more about the client over time. One other challenge that street outreach projects face is deduplicating client records. It's possible in street outreach that a single client may be contacted by multiple street outreach workers over a period of time in different locations or scenarios. It is crucial that street outreach workers search for their client in HMIS using multiple queries and search in multiple ways to be sure that the client does not already have a record. Remember that we suggest you only search for your client using the first two or three letters of their first and last name, and if you suspect that the client's name could be spelled in multiple ways, use those different spellings as a search as well. You can also search by an alias to help ensure that you are not entering a duplicate client. Next, we'll take a look at the specific data elements required for street outreach programs in addition to the universal data elements that you learned in your new user training.